Man, look how smoky it is. You can like see the sun. Wow. I'm up bright and early on my way to my first monitoring appointment. So we're going to ultrasound my uterus and measure the thickness of the lining and see if it's ready or that the estrace is working correctly I'm on my way. All right, at my monitoring appointment, just got tested for COVID. New procedure, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> New procedure, usually we don't do this, but we're getting tested. All right, yet again, I meet the stirrups. Not the first, not the last. All right, first monitoring appointment. So what, you guys have like a measurement that you're looking for, right? Eight millimeters or greater for the transfer to be scheduled. Okay, eight millimeters. Does it have to be eight millimeters at this appointment? Because it'll continue to grow? So it's eight millimeters before you start progesterone. Got it, eight millimeters before I start progesterone. There's your left, right ovary. I'm gonna go to I don't have a left ovary. Oh, okay. <laughs> that helps me. Thank uh -huh. you. <laughs> be looking for that for days. Yes, I would be. <laughs> All right. Ooh, it looks good. It's nice and pretty. It's about 5.86 millimeters. Oh, great. So not ready yet. So does that push it back? When is your tentative transfer day? September 2nd. Yes. Dang it. My lining was not thick enough, which means that the embryo transfer has just been pushed back a little bit, but they're going to call me later and tell me what it means. What's your arm are we doing today? The good one. Okay, the like good one, I see. <laughs> I'm like, I see. <laughs> my 10,000th blood draw, right? <laughs> yeah. Life. Right? <laughs> You're so like, I'm a pro at this already. <laughs> blood draws. What are you guys checking for today? This is um, ETP4. So we're checking your estrogen and your progesterone. Go ahead and put pressure on there for me, please. 